So here we have an iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, it came in with totally no signs of life. When I plug it in the charger, I do see that the battery is being charged, which is a good thing. So let's take a look to see what's going on. Before I start to troubleshoot the phone, the circuit board, um, I'll try a new screen and a new battery to just eliminate the fact that it's, it may be a screen issue or a battery issue. Okay, so... Oh, look at this. I do see the Apple sign. So we know it's a backlight issue. Let me see if I can get this under the microscope. Oh, what the hell? We can't see anything. Right, so I did see uh, the Apple sign. I did see the Apple sign. And we did hear the message alert, which tells us that the phone is on and working. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. The, the light just came on. It's like a uh, half, half backlight. It's coming on and off, look. Oh, wait a minute. Touch is not working. Hmm. Touch is not working. So we have more than one problem, if that's true. Yeah, there's, there's no touch. The customer said they took the phone to a shop that changed the screen, and after they changed it, this happened. But the customer was not aware of the touch. They just said the phone doesn't come on. All right, so we have a touch issue and we have a backlight issue. Let me disconnect. Okay, disconnect the battery. Disconnect the screen. So now we know that we are troubleshooting for a backlight, half backlight, and no touch. So first thing I want to do is visual inspection. Visual inspection. Let's start by taking off all the all the stuff, all the cushion stuff over here. Just some alcohol. And then we should be able to easily take this stuff out. Oops. Anytime you see a component like this, it's an indication that the component heated up so much that it burned the, the top rubber stuff. Okay, this one looks like it's in place. We do not know if it's good. Oh, look at this. See, this component is out of place. And what is this component? Let's look on the board diagram to see what this component is. I know for a fact that this is one of the filters for the backlight, but I want to show you how we are able to look at this component on the circuit diagram and how we can tell what this component is for. Okay, so what I did is I removed all the rubber stuff from over the components. Okay, so now that all the components are visible to us, this component here is a backlight filter, and we can confirm this by looking on our board software. And the component is located 
right over here. See, it's called the uh, PPLCM BL anode con. So the part number is FL4211. FL4211. So this is a backlight filter. Let's go ahead and replace the filter. Test our phone to see if we have a full backlight. And then we'll move on to the touch problem. By the way, today I got a new tip for the soldering iron. It's an extremely thin one. Look at this. Look at how tiny this is. But maybe I'm going to use it right now. Let me use that tip right now. It's the first time I use it. If you look at the tip, there's still no solder on it. This is as it came from the factory, from Weller. I really love the tip. Okay, so let's grab a filter. That's it. Okay, so the filter is in place and trying out the tip for the first time i really love it it's a very uh tiny tip but it's perfect for components like this we're gonna test if the filter is continuous now so uh we have to test from let's go back to the board software okay so this should connect with pin 6 which is the third pin let's test from this point on to this point okay so it's continuous the filter is in place everything is working so we have continuity from this point here from this point of the filter on to this point of the filter so now let's test and see if we have a full backlight if we do then the job is half done because we still have a touch problem that we need to fix. When I quoted the customer, I quoted him based on the fact that it could be a display issue. It could be a uh, display IC issue or a backlight issue. Now we discovered that there's no touch. 
So I may have to call the customer first to let them know that we're going to be fixing the, the touch on the phone and possibly a little bit more charge for the extra work. Let's see. Phone turns on. We have a backlight. Let's just make sure that it's a full backlight. Hmm. Can you see? Right here. So the light on the phone is better, but we still have a problem with the backlight. The top left, we're not done with the backlight yet. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six filters. FL4211. Yeah, so this is the one that we just changed. And now we're going to do FL4211. One, two. Okay, it's good. I mean, it looks good. And then the third one we're going to test is FL4213. It's the one next to it. Now, usually we can just look at the component and tell if the component is blown or out of place. But right now, for the sake of this video, I'm doing it one by one. And I'll be testing the components one by one so we can see. Okay, so this is good. So we should have continuity from here to right here. That's good. So this filter is good. And now we're going to test FL4291. FL4219. Okay, did I type it incorrectly? FL4291, sorry. So it's this component right here. I see a slight uh, discoloration on the bottom pin. But anyway, let's test it. What should, where should this connect to? Not let me test if it's continuous from here to here. And it's not, you see? So this component is bad. It should be continuous from this point to that point. I can immediately tell that this component is bad by just looking at the discoloration of the component. So it's blown, it's broken inside. That's what I mean by saying visual inspection. Sometimes you can tell which component is bad by looking at it. I'll probably break this component. That would be the best way to take it out.
So let's try and see, do we still have a backlight problem? Okay, so let's see. Battery plugged in. Okay, so we need to charge. Now let me try my battery. It should be charged. See, now I plugged in the customer's battery and we can see that the customer's battery is not charged. And that's the reason I always test with our battery. From the way that this is lit, I can tell that the backlight is fixed. So right now we are running out of time. It's already six o'clock. And honestly, I've been working nonstop since this morning. So we're gonna leave off to fixing the touch tomorrow. I'm thinking that the touch could be caused by filters, blown filters, or there could be something more to it. We'll see.